Hello and welcome to Pod Meets World. I'm Paul. I'm Dave. And I'm Justin. And this week we're discussing the episode, The Uninvited. Mm. This episode originally aired October 21st, 1994, attracting approximately 11,066,400 viewers. Again, assuming the information from the Google group is accurate. Mm -hmm. Number one film at the box office this week. (sighs) Be still my beating heart. Pulp Fiction. Ooh, neat. Ah, still something I need to watch. You, yes, you need to watch Pulp Fiction. Yes. It is a great film. Uh, number one on the Billboard charts. <gasps> Boys to Men. I'll make love to ya. Yeah, by Boys to Men. Yeah. And for video games. Now, once again, we're having to reach out a few days into the future. Because they don't want to bother releasing games on the Friday for some bloody reason. Yeah, they don't want to go skip school on Friday. But for, I think, again, this is well worth it. Mm -hmm. Although you might not know it from the name of this game. This is, um, well, the game is UFO Enemy Unknown. Mm -hmm. Now, you might not know it by that name. Because in North America, it was XCOM UFO Defense. Oh. It's the first XCOM game. Neat. Okay. You've never played Echo have you? No, I haven't played that series. You should play Echo <laughs> Or play that Mario game, game that's basically Echo Mario Rabbids. Oh, that. That's basically it. Well, it's like a kid's Echo It's baby's first Echo I think we're taking a teensy bit of a jump as it sort of sits, but... No, on whole, it's definitely interesting to hear the series from its start... That sort of bit. Yeah. I mean, the Mario nice. game is kind of baby's first XCOM. It's not as challenging as XCOM, but it does use a lot of the same mechanics, or similar mechanics. <laughs> hmm. Well, I guess that's within a case of trying to get through it without any sort of case, but yeah, any sort of person could probably get through that one easily enough. With XCOM, though, with how I've heard with the more recent sort of titles... Ooh. Oh, no, XCOM! Ooh. No, no, you're... Uh, you're misunderstanding. Mario is not as difficult as XCOM. <laughs> no, XCOM just in general is the case of... Uh, uh. XCOM is notoriously rel- re- uh, pretty challenging. Okay. Uh, it's a, I would say it's a punishing game if you don't... Like, you have to pay attention to everything, kind of. All right. So, like, Fire Emblem, but... I don't know. Yeah, think of it as, like, a Western Fire Emblem. Sure. Okay. I think it's just the case of just with aliens. with that particular yeah. number that says the accuracy of it. That's not the right accuracy. It's far, far lower. Oh, so it wants to make you feel better about making dumb decisions. Okay. Anyway, uh, continuing on. <laughs> uh, this episode, uh, the first their first high school party is just a few days away, and Corey and Sean are anxious to get their invitations. Corey's adamant that such an invite would put him on the cool list and seal his fate in high school. He worries that he is not cool enough to be invited, but Sean is. However, the table seemed to have been turned when Corey, not Sean, is invited to the party. Little does Corey know that only nerds and geeks will be there. After a talk with Mr. Turner, uh, Corey learns the true meaning of friendship. Also, Alan throws his back out and it is amazing. It is. Mm Mm-hmm. I'm going to go play b-ball with my homies. Am I outside yet? yet? <laughs> <laughs> I, I turned 40, I threw my back out, I'm just going to lay here and die. <laughs> uh, it's so good. Near the end of the episode, it's all perfectly explained. The parents got a hold of the bloody list. Of course, it's like, it. wait, that Sean kid's going to be there? Off the list. <laughs> He's a fucking terrorist. Yeah, I would throw I would throw him off the list too. <laughs> he committed a federal crime. Why is he not in prison? Because he's still like in. He was in middle school. When he, he committed a federal crime. Yes. <laughs> anyway, I feel like that hasn't been made abundantly clear. He committed a federal crime. Let's see how much longer he'll supposedly get away with it. Anyway, uh, what did you all think of this episode? Other than Alan being amazing. Then, with, aside from that particular point of it, 
it fit fairly well for the topic of it, and just with the pizzeria scene when <gasps> Corey's... <Chubbies. laughs> with that particular one, it's always great with the teacher being there. It's like, yeah, I was up for one and a couple burgers, but man, the place got crowded. Also, first appearance of Chubbies. Hmm, yeah. The uh, so Chubbies is going to come back? Yes, Chubbies will be back. All right, yeah, neat. neat. It will be back a lot. And then, of course, with Just the Just like the bronze or whatever? It's kind of like their bronze, kind of, yeah. Hmm, all right. I don't think it's as an, it's, I don't think it's in as many episodes episodes as the bronze was, but it'll be fairly regular. Hmm. Mm-hmm. But then of course with the teacher, he's like, Hey! Hand in your homework. Also, Sean, your friend's here. Yeah, Mr. Turner's pretty good. Yeah, he's always good. It's good, yeah. But Alan throwing his back out. It's like is amazing. <laughs> uh so true. Like just the first scene, it's like, why is it that I'm getting all these Magazines, oh, for old, old people stuff. Like you get vitamin E for something one time. He bought high potency vitamin E, <sighs> which I didn't do any research on, but I don't think it would work. <laughs> it was a dick joke. <clears throat> Might get him up off the couch. <laughs> that thing near the end of the episode definitely did. Oh, that was that reveal is so fucking PG. No, and just like I love how she's like, oh, I bought this for my my, my new husband, and it's just like there's like this big reveal, and just like hey, this is clearly a PG show, huh? <laughs> yep, it is. <laughs> Anyway, Alan is amazing. Yeah? And, mm-hmm. yes. No, as it is, both of them are. Her just trying to get him up at the one point of the episode. It's like, could you guys maybe wait until I'm, dark? It's my favorite part when Corey walks in and he's like, Mom, Dad, it's not even dark out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. More of this. <laughs> this is amazing. I want more episodes of Alan just being an old man <laughs> and just like being grouchy and shit because he's so good at it and he's so funny mm-hmm. but I don't think we're going to get much more of it unfortunately for if memory serves alrighty so do either of you have anything else to add? not really I don't think alright oh shit on a brick and fuck and Alrighty, then the next episode we'll be talking about is Who's Afraid of Cory Wolf? So this is... It's the Halloween episode. Oh, okay. And oh. Uh, Cory develops werewolf characteristics after a nocturnal encounter with a mysterious beast. Spooky. Oh, okay. I was thinking it was most likely going to be the boy who cried wolf sort of storyline. It's like, no, oh, that's or the tired. big bad wolf. Anyway, until next time, I'm Paul. I'm Dave. And I'm Justin.